some years ago, you guys saw me get this new chassis for converting to a Mars rover style robot on the channel. Well, with recent additions to tools in the lab, I'm finally able to pick this project back up. We started working on the front end steering. I was able to get that working. So I thought, well, I'll show you guys step by step how I did everything. Share the Arduino code, share the design files, and hopefully this helps you make your own robot. So far, it's a fun way to spend some time on lockdown, learning a lot of lessons along the way. Hope you enjoy. So my original thoughts for this design were that this this Power Wheels robot thing could have a lot of payload and I could put all the Arduinos and Raspberry Pis that I wanted in this, but still have a movable chassis. So it sat around for years now because I just simply didn't want to fabricate the brackets and plates by hand. So now that I have a laser cutter, that became a lot easier. Unfortunately, I didn't capture this on camera. I went ahead and made this this laser cut bracket out of thin plywood. It turned out pretty good. I was able it was my first time doing much with the laser cutter, so I was pretty proud of myself. But as you'll see in a few minutes, this didn't work out so well. The original steering shaft comes up through to the handlebars for the child to turn the front wheels and I needed to tee into that so I decided I'd try a, a, a coupler from 3D printers to couple the stepper motor directly to the shaft. This would require milling the shaft down which I had to do by hand with a grinder and it turned out I didn't get the bracket the right size, not even close. So some measuring, some work and we'll see if we can make that work out. If you're a maker or electronics enthusiast, make sure you check out PCBWay. They can make any circuit board you desire, provide the parts, and even assemble the board for you. They now offer fully transparent tracking on your order so you can see where your project is at from start to finish. I did the redesign of the plate in Inkscape. This is an open source furry software that I just started using for the laser cutter to work with the SVG files. Now, this thing is incredibly intuitive. I was able to latch on to it pretty quickly and I am not so good with CAD. More or less just click around and selected stuff and sure enough, then it allows the object to be moved. You don't have to separate shells or anything like you do with the 3D printing model. So it's actually pretty intuitive. Alignment was a little bit tricky just because I don't know how to use the software so I get a little creative with rectangles and away we go. So now I had another prototype in hand, but sure enough, I didn't use enough power on the laser to cut all the way through. So I decided to cut another one. That one came out quite a bit better. To 
control our stepper, we're going to need a stepper driver. This is the L298N that I decided to use. I have several of them in the bin. If you want to see how to use this, I did a dedicated tutorial video as I was assembling this. You can check it out at a link below. I decided I wanted a stand for my stepper driver to keep it off the surface of the vehicle. Off to Thingiverse, I was able to find one no issues and printed it out on my Anycubic i3 Mega. So testing the Arduino and the code went great as you can see in the tutorial, but I drastically underestimated the amount of torque that the NEMA 17 stepper motor would have. It has plenty enough to turn the vehicle wheels up off the bench as you see here, but unfortunately when they're down on a surface, there's not enough power, it skips steps. So we're gonna have to go to a different system. If you have any ideas what I should use, please post them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I'm open to ideas on this. Right now we can pretty much set up anything that should work pretty good. Uh, with the exception we can't switch this over to four wheel drive. We're stuck with the front wheel steering, but I think we can make it work with your guys' help. Maybe, uh, maybe we can make this work even faster. I'm really enjoying this project. Even though this was a little bit of a fail, I learned a lot. I had a lot of fun building, got to use the laser cutter a little bit more. Ah, you always learn things with these projects, right? Hope you enjoyed this video. Click a thumbs up if you did. Join me on Patreon or uh, join as a channel member in the links down below. Cheers guys, good luck on all your projects.